Hello everyone, my name is Techno, and I know it's been a while since I made one of these kind of videos, but starting next week exactly is going to be my two year anniversary at AWS. I've been a cloud support engineer for almost two years now. And when I first started, I was actually a cloud support associate. So that means I learned the ropes at AWS and I learned all these kinds of services specifically in the networking team where I'm able to understand and work with our core services such as Transit Gateway, Site to Site VPN, Direct Connect, as well as Client VPN. Those are our main core services, but of course, there are a lot of services out there that I still have yet to learn. Now, with that being said, I wanted to explain about who I was before I joined AWS. A little bit about me is I was always interested in the IT industry ever since I was a kid and I've always liked working with computers and that interest in computers slowly led over to me wanting to become a software engineer in high school and then I realized it wasn't cut for me so I realized okay you know what I'm gonna go towards the networking field because I genuinely enjoy it and so that's the career that I pursued even during college I went to Western Governors University and this university allowed me to take a lot of professional IT certifications in a span of maybe two and a half years. While I was in school, I was fortunate enough to land my first IT help desk job. And that was what really accelerated my career in the IT industry. And so I slowly started leveling up, going from just customer service roles to now an IT help desk role, still customer service in a way where I'm now able to troubleshoot technical problems with users. Not only that, but I had professional experience in the IT industry for about a year and a half, as well as all these other IT certifications. These certifications are more of like a booster for my resume more than anything, because at the end of the day, if I'm not able to demonstrate my knowledge for these IT certifications, they're basically useless. But it's a way to let the recruiters know that, hey, this guy is really good at taking tests, Probably. And he's really good at taking IT certifications. So why not give him a chance to interview? And from that point on, it's basically how well do I perform in the interview? Now, as a cloud support associate within my first year, I already started learning a whole bunch of AWS services when I had zero experience in the cloud. I did not know anything about the cloud aside from the AWS cloud practitioner certification. This certification is more of like a baseline of, hey, here's AWS services, here's what they do. That's basically all I knew about AWS. But aside from that, I didn't know how to troubleshoot. I didn't know anything about AWS. So now in this first year, I was learning the ropes. I learned our core services, worked with customers through emails, chats, or phone calls to troubleshoot their networking issues. And eventually within my first year, I got promoted to a cloud support engineer. Now that I've been at AWS for almost two years now, I'm working towards my next promotion, which is now a cloud support engineer level two. This role will allow me to work on even more projects. So you definitely see me being hands-on diving deep on these technical issues rather than the surface level stuff. So with all these experiences combined together, I'm here to tell you that even though I'm still basically still fresh in the IT industry, I want to tell you that it's not impossible. And if this is something that you're interested in, whether you're curious to know about the IT industry or you're curious about getting into the cloud, my advice to you is to apply regardless. Regardless if you have professional experience, regardless if you have IT certifications, or even a four-year degree. Because at the end of the day, it's all about how well do you do in the interview. Because if you're able to demonstrate your knowledge and your willingness to learn, there's no reason why a hiring manager would not hire you. And over at my time at AWS, not only have I mentored people, but I've also gotten the opportunity to interview people. So if you're ever interested in applying and maybe you're unsure, I would just tell you, just apply regardless. Prepare for your interview, make sure that you understand what's on your resume, have the star format when you're responding to the interviewer. And most of all, make sure you have pocket projects where you're able to explain what you've done in the past, whether that be professional experience or even home labs, because if you can tell me about what you've done, you're at least able to demonstrate your knowledge and also tell me exactly how did you learn from your lab or how did you learn from that particular project. Overall, at my time at AWS, I've always enjoyed what I do as a cloud support engineer, and I'm really thankful for the opportunity to just be here and to continue learning and growing at AWS. And I hope that this video is able to help you understand that you shouldn't be afraid to apply because if you're just sitting on the fence, 
my recommendation is to just go for it. The more prep work that you do, the more successful you'll be as an interviewee. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you're able to take away something about my experience here at AWS and I hope that if you're interested in the cloud or just the IT industry, feel free to like and subscribe so that you can learn more about what I do as a cloud support engineer or about my advice in the IT industry. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.